Hi right, guys, uh, just watched uh, Flash, the King Shark episode. Uh, after when I last saw the Flash, was it last week or the week before? I don't can't have been last week. I think it must have been a couple of weeks ago when Zoom uh, knocked off uh, Jay Garrick, the Earth 2 Flash. Uh, what it, amazing episode uh, on that cliffhanger. Straight into this episode, in comes uh, King Shark. Uh, Argos has got him. I, I don't know what's happened to Amanda Waller. I'm going to have to catch up on Arrow, you know, and other stuff. Uh, so I got into it. You, you know, I liked it how Barry was doubting himself in this episode. It was quite heavy stuff. I like how Wally's fitting into the mechanics now. You know, uh, I feel threatened by Barry. Like, he thinks like their favourite son. Uh, you know, with the dad and stuff, but it's not the case. Uh, you know, King Shark, just a brutal killing machine, just, you know, bloodthirsty creature. Uh, he gets out of the Argus containment facility and starts something down. Flash. Cisco's a bit freaked by evil Killer Frost in other universe and worries Caitlin, you know. She's turned a bit cold because she saw Jay die in front of her. I mean, I mean, a lot going on here with the characters, do you know what I mean? And uh, you're sort of flowing along with it, you know, the whole thing of of the episode. Uh, it really, I mean, the character development this episode, for me, was superb. Uh, that's what I love about this show. It's very colourful. It's a bright show. Uh, the character development, like I said, are really cool. Uh, I just love how, how they all work together. I'm a big fan of Cisco. Uh, you know, and, and 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 when they're all sort of like getting it together, Paul Barry, you do feel for him because he blames himself what happened on Earth too, and that and 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 then it all shoots into episode with King Shark. King Shark tracks him down to Barry's house. You know, he zips out and becomes the Flash. A uh, bit of a battle on the street. King Shark says, "I'm coming back. I'm gonna get you." You know, and and then they set him up in in the river, and an amazing. Uh, Sequence. I mean, the CGI effects of this just incredible. It, honestly, it's like you know, this is what you see in a, in, in a major film production. You know, uh, uh, made King Shark look pretty fucking amazing. Do you know what I mean? And uh, as as they're going along with it, you know, the battle scene when Barry just on the river, uh, you know, running round in the bay, and then suddenly creating like electricity in the water from his flash abilities, and then. He fires off this bolt and he totally does King Shark. And it was pretty, you know, all together the episode, brilliant. You know, so he's, he's back in custody. Love the appearance from Diggle and his missus. She's now running Argos. It's going to become interesting. We found out they've been trying to weaponize certain meta humans, which obviously there's going to be a lot more with this. Uh, I'm not having it. The breaches to have two are not closed. I don't think people have been straight about that. There's going to be something else. So we have the Supergirl episode coming up shortly, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, uh, but let's get to the most important part of this episode. Wow, what a sh what a mind blowing shocker! You know, we saw Tim coming in with Jay Garrick's body, and he took his mask off, and it's Jay Garrick. So it's the guy in the mask, which I think is. Jay Garrick. Are these all Jay Garricks from other alternative Earths? There's something weird going on here. Obviously we're going to find out, or we're going to be in for a bit of a shocker. Who's behind that mask? A friend of mine reckons it's Barry Allen's dad. You know, that world's flag. I don't know, Mark could be wrong. Do you know what I mean? That's just what somebody said to me the other day. Uh, you know, but I think it's personally it's Jay Garrick in, trapped in the... Uh, in the in the cage or behind the the, the anti-vibrating stuff in his cell with the mask on i i think that, that is a jay garrick uh but when he took his mask off of jay garrick wow do you know what i mean i think this zoom gets his powers from that formula you know that that formula they were on about it made him speed up i think it's from that i think that's where he gets his abilities from but he, he's addicted to it do you know what i mean he needs to take more now i don't know if we're going to go with comic zoom or whatever the, so no doubt put some other explanation in. Uh, you know, this series just gets better and better. Uh, yeah, I've got nothing else to say on it. I just roll on the next episode. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's the best thing on the TV. I mean, what a year it is this year. I mean, look what I've got coming in less, just over two weeks, Batman v Superman. 
Do you know what I mean? To me, I've made a connection with all this because, like, when they open 52 uh, breaches, you, you know what I mean? You remember the one when the DC reformat the show, we had the 52, 52, didn't we? Different universes with the, with the monitors and stuff and that. I know that they're, they're going to do it again and do it again and do it again. I mean, the, the DC universe being reset more times than I've been to the toilet, you know what I mean? Uh, but I think, you know, I think it's all connected. Do you know what I mean? The Batman Superman movie universe, that 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 that's out there in them breaches, do you know what I mean? You know, so you could theoretically cross it over, even with the old Flash TV series, you know, that's another universe, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Obviously we'll go to a, an omniverse where he could cross over and meet the Avengers. No, I'm being silly now. Uh, anyway, roll on uh, tonight's episode. I think it's tonight's on, isn't it? Uh, so, you know, I'll, I should be back tomorrow with another review on that on Thursday. Uh, just let on, guys. Going to catch up with Arrow now. Uh, I'm quite far behind. I've actually just watched the Gorilla Grodd episode today. And I'm a few episodes behind on uh, Legends of Tomorrow. But I do like watching three or four episodes of that at once. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we're not far off from Daredevil now. Get your TV set for that. Netflix boxes, whatever. Bring it on. Things can't just get any better, can they? I mean, we're, we're you know, what we read in comics for years. Now, now we're seeing it live action. Do you remember all the cheesy 80s stuff? Like, and seven is the dreaded Hulk and the dreaded Spider-Man series, when he were like that. You know, I, I will watch a couple of these and review them at some point. Uh, but, you know, uh, what's coming out now, science fiction-wise, superhero-wise, is just super. Do you know what I mean? So, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, that's it. Please share and subscribe, guys. Have a great day.